What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Now January is one of the slowest months of the year for our car sharing fleet, which means it is the perfect time to get ahead on some of the tasks that we've been putting off. Now we've been keeping track of the utilization of our entire fleet, and one thing we've noticed is that our older cars are not getting as utilized as they used to. And we think we know why. Some of our older cars are lacking more modern features like Bluetooth. Now, I always try to view our car sharing fleet from the lens and the perspective of a potential renter. And there are a lot of things I wouldn't mind having in a rental car. Like, I don't really care about the manual locks and the manual windows. That's not a big deal for me. But the one deal breaker would absolutely be Bluetooth in the car. I would never, ever consider renting a car that didn't have Bluetooth. Now, majority of our cars do have the auxiliary input jack, but modern phones, unfortunately, no longer have that feature. So we're gonna be adding adding Bluetooth to all of our cars. In addition to adding Bluetooth radios to all of our older cars, we're also going to be revamping the headlights as well because these things are very worn, weathered, and they could definitely use a refresh. And on top of that, we're gonna be going through every older car and revamping it to make it look, well, less old. Let's get started. We're able to pick up four of these radios from Amazon for about $35 a piece with free shipping. And that's pretty good considering that this is gonna replace our existing OEM unit with one that has more updated features, clearer quality and sound, and Bluetooth. For now, we're gonna start out by installing these into four different cars to see how it goes. All right, so in the car, you can tell this old radio is pretty big, pretty bulky, and has a lot of just unused space. It doesn't really make sense to have that big of a radio in this tiny of a car. But with this new updated radio, it's super slim, it's super lightweight, and it's incredibly smaller than the original radio, which is why we've got this dash kit that we're gonna install to make sure that this looks like a factory radio when it's put in, and it's not just a bunch of gaps and holes missing, and it'll come with a little cubby space too. I've never done a radio inside of a Toyota Yaris, but I have done it in some other cars and we actually have the same radio in Aubrey's car and it's worked really well for about the six years that we've had it. So we knew that this updated one that even comes with Siri and Google Assistant capabilities is gonna be a major upgrade for a car that was made in 2007. Well, let's get started. So these universal dash kits are really cool because this is actually a dash kit, I think for like, oh yeah, Toyota Yaris 2007 to 11. And they come with all the variations of bracketing that you might need to install this thing. And this one actually came out pretty well. Because if we look compared to our old radio, that's gonna fit in just like that. Cool, okay, so now we have to figure out how this goes in and mounts properly. And then this secures to this. And then we can start on the wiring, which shouldn't be too, too hard. Look at that, isn't that incredible? It looks factory, the trim and bezel, everything's in really great quality, it feels good, it's solid, it's operating exactly how it should, I'm excited. I think this will definitely take our Turo fleet to the next level and make sure that this car stays with the times and still can get rented out because it now has an updated feature like Bluetooth. Now, let's get onto the next thing that is gonna revamp this car. So now that the radio is installed, I can go ahead and move on to the headlights. This is the kit I'm gonna be using. It's a 3M sanding headlight restoration kit where I'm gonna use a different number of sanding pads that increase in levels of grit to make it a nice seamless polish. Now it may not look like that's gonna be able to come out, but you'll be surprised in the end result. Let's get the headlights off first. And there we go. All done. Nah, just kidding, not even close. Trust the process. Oh. 
And just like that, we're all done. Took me about an hour, but a lot of good TLC will go a long way. These things look brand new. But now let's get them installed. A few minutes later. And just like that, the car looks brand spanking new. Well, maybe not brand spanking new, omitting all of the scratches, dings, and dents on the vehicle. But the headlights look like brand new. And with a little bit of elbow grease and a kit you can buy on Amazon, your headlights can look just as good. But now let's move on to the next car. Next up is our 2010 Yaris. This is actually the same as our other 2007 Yaris. Radio is the exact identical one. And let's see how long it takes me to replace it now. The time is 11.35. Bam. Just like that, the time is now 11.58. I'm gonna say that I maybe took me about two minutes or so to go get the camera and blah 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 But now this Toyota Yaris is fully up to date with Bluetooth radio just like the other cars in our fleet Now headlights and radios are really the obvious changes to make to our fleet in order to not only revamp the cars But also provide a better guest experience But one other area that we oftentimes forget about is the little nooks and crannies of every single Turo car for instance, in this Ford Escape, you can tell that there's a lot of gunk and stuff built up in the corners. Now, this is after it's been cleaned pretty properly with a towel and spray, but even with a towel and spray and trying to dig that out, it's really hard to get out because this is approximately 12 years worth of grime. So we're gonna be using a steamer to make sure that this looks nice and appealing. Whenever somebody gets in, they grab the shifter and look what gear they're in, they're not seeing a bunch of gross dirt. And just like that, it didn't take too long to really clean up this entire center console. It took about 10 minutes time. And this is one of those things that even though it makes a small difference, I do think that it makes a large one in the grand scheme of things when it comes to the overall cleanliness of the car and customer perception. Yeah, honestly. And we already have the equipment and we already have the car here in time. Might as well make it look that much better. Now these are some of the steps that we're taking to revamp our entire fleet. It is gonna take a little bit more time to get all of our cars done. But we should have them done by the end of the month. Now these are one of those things that if your cars are being actively rented out, I probably wouldn't recommend blocking your cars off for the sole purpose of cleaning out the little crevices, doing the headlights, or potentially doing the radio. Instead, I would take advantage of the times that your cars are just sitting and use those times to your advantage to really make a difference in your fleet like what we've been doing. But guys, as always, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next episode.